Today I built a soldering microscope using an old tablet. It has an adjustable stand and LED lights. The lights run on lithium batteries and can be charged with a USB charger. The stand also acts as a power bank for the tablet. The tablet has a free microscope app that lets you zoom and adjust the brightness. Now let me explain how I made it. First you'll need an adjustable lift platform, like this one. I got it from AliExpress for $5. Then I designed a mount for the platform. The mount holds the tablet at a suitable angle and holds the batteries and electronics inside. I printed the box with PLA, but it's better to use ABS or PDG instead, because PLA doesn't like the heat from the LEDs. Next I needed a step-up converter for LEDs. I had some leftover 12 volt LED strips, so I needed to boost the voltage from 3.6 to 12 volts. Before the converter I did another module to prevent the lithium battery from over discharging. This module also has a USB charging port, but I didn't use it because it's too slow. Instead, I used a separate charging module capable of 2 amp charging. This module also provides a 2 amp USB output for a tablet. I had to drill connector holes into the case afterward. It would have been wiser to add the holes in the 3D design before printing, but my plans went final at that stage, and I decided to test what I can fit into the completed case. The LEDs required a power switch. The device also has a USB-A port for charging the tablet and a USB-C port for charging the internal battery. The device is powered by a lithium battery. I welded together three 18650 cells. They provide enough power for several hours of use for both the tablet and the LEDs. The wiring for the LED lights on the bottom of the case gave me a lot of trouble. But then I remembered I had some cover tape. At first I thought I could use it with PLA. But soldering quickly, the plastic doesn't have time to melt. Then came the exciting moment of assembling the device with double-sided tape. My main concern was the heat generated by LEDs. During testing, the LEDs heated the PLA plastic to make it warp slightly. So I installed the front panel adjustment hole to control the LED voltage. I reduced the voltage to 10 volts, which seemed sufficient. The lift platform isn't super sturdy, but it works well enough for this purpose. In the end, the device works as intended and is very useful. I hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching.